Hey T Squad, it's me Keisha and I'm here with more news on Love and Marriage Huntsville reality star Kiki Jabbar's passing. As you know, the professor, mother, wife, reality star, and more passed away this week at the age of 42. According to Deadline, a close friend is sharing details of what caused her passing. YouTuber Joanne Jenkins, who featured Jabbar on her live streams frequently, is setting the record straight on the reality TV star. Kiki did not overdose. Kiki did not take her own life, Jenkins said on her YouTube stream. Kiki loved life. Kiki was not ready to leave life. She wasn't ready to leave her children, her husband, or her family. Jenkins noted to her viewers that when Jabbar was sleepy, she would go to sleep wherever. And after visiting her sisters, revealing she left her sisters about four in the morning. Last night, she turned her car off and she fell asleep, Jenkins continued. Her car was not functioning and there was something already wrong with her car. Jenkins said that she was about to share the official statement from her mother about how Jabbar passed away adding so seven something this morning her husband goes to the garage he sees Kiki what he thinks is asleep in the car he tries to get her attention he opens the car up she isn't breathing her husband her life partner her best friend tried to bring his wife back the mother of his children and he couldn't Kiki passed from carbon monoxide poisoning that's it that is all. My sister didn't want to leave this earth. She didn't want to leave her kids. She didn't want to leave her husband. She continued. There was no turmoil going on in her life. She had a lot of great things to look forward to. So that is what this YouTuber has stated to the press. I'm going to be honest with you. When I read that, a lot of red flags and questions popped up in my head a lot of that statement didn't really add up for me and I got confirmation that the feelings I had were valid when a post from Kiki's uncle Ellis C. Dawson started making its round on social media this is what he said to the Moors, as a collective, the Dawsons ask that you respect our privacy during this unfathomable tragedy. We need the time and space to properly grieve our beloved Kiki. With that being said, due to the contentiousness of your relationship with Kiki, we ask respectfully that you refrain from showing up to any of the services pertaining to her home going. Those precious days are meant for loved ones of the deceased to mourn and celebrate. The uncouth behavior and vitriol that you have continuously spewed towards Kiki in her final years have left a lasting impact and spark indignation in us, the Dawsons. So I'm guessing that the Moors is Wanda's, you know, family that he's referring to. Also that spans over to the Scots and you know it's really sad and unfortunate that this beef in this family is continuing on and now it seems like it's at an all-time high and at its worst you would think that her passing would bring this family together and make them realize that life is too short tomorrow is not promised and that all of this is really stupid and childish and that they are family at the end of the day but it seems to be pulling this family further apart things got even worse when the same uncle took to his facebook page and who shot were fired okay shots were fired towards Wanda and Tisha and Marceau this is what this gentleman had to say I got this information from Empress Radio so shout out to her 
Let's take a listen. Wanda, it can get to her daughter, it can get to her son-in-law, it can get to all those people on that show. The way that y'all treated her in life, y'all got her down out of Texas and you alienated her. And my folks had to spend hours and hours and hours on the phone trying to reassure her, trying to, to, to help build her confidence. Our entire life for months has been circled around her mental stability. And you guys did everything possible to push her over the edge. I'm asking you, because we don't want any problems. We peaceful people, and we don't want no problems. We don't want no issues, but we asking you, do not attend no service on my niece. Do not keep her name out of your mouth. Stop going to these bloggers, feeding them information about what's going on, because you don't know what's going on. You have no clue because you're not inside the room. So you have no right whatsoever to be putting out any information about Kiki whatsoever. So, and I want y'all to tell Wanda, her sorry son-in-law, her boo-ass daughter, stay away from my family, keep Kiki name out of your mouth, have the same energy that you showed towards her when she was alive. You don't love her. You never loved her. So don't even post that. Because if you loved her, it is no way possible that you can make up lies about her and her family and, and tell bits and pieces of information about her life that should be private to a family, but you fed it to these bloggers so they could ridicule her, cause her to have haters, cause people to disrespect her. That's what you did. And you pushed her. You pushed her to this. So we blame you. Absolutely. We blame you. She would be here if it wasn't for that stupid show. So, like I said, Wanda, your sorry daughter, and that fake son in law yours, and all you sorry mothers that's a part of that show, please, I'm asking you from, the, from a place of love. From the place of love, I'm asking you to allow us to grieve Kiki in peace without your presence. I don't even really know what to say after hearing that. It gives me chills uh, every time I hear it, unfortunately. Um, oof, Lord have mercy. Like, God cover this family. Cover this family. Mm, 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 mm. Um, it seems like her uncle is alluding to her unaliving herself. And to be honest with you, that's what it sounded like with the statement that this friend made to the press. It just wasn't adding up. And with the uncle saying that she was dealing with mental health issues and blaming the Scots for her allegedly unaliving herself and saying that they pushed her to this point. I think that that's, that's, a, that's a loaded statement. That's a heavy statement to make, and I don't think that that's fair. I really honestly don't. Um, you know, coming from a family where we've dealt with someone unaliving themselves, you know, it was my uncle. So I know how um, that affects a family. You know, you look for someone to blame, you know. And it's unfortunate that her time on this earth ended in such a way, whether intentional or unintentional. At the end of the day, a life is gone a life has ended far too soon you know and she's leaving behind her children and her husband and her family members and I hope that if anything comes of this that Kiki's untimely passing will remind people that this reality show lifestyle and world ain't nothing to play with. And I've spoken about this several times on my channel 
about how far people are willing to go in the reality show realm. A lot of people are selling their souls for fame, for money and popularity. And in this case, you know, we knew how much she wanted to be on that show and how this had been a dream of hers. And unfortunately, decisions were made on her end, decisions were made on other people end that led to it getting to the point of which she was no longer on the show. But to be frank, I feel like she shouldn't have never been on the show especially after the accusations of her addiction and stuff started flying and stuff again. It's just like somebody at that point needed to step in and say, this is not okay. This is not okay. And that this should not have, that should not have been allowed on the show. Cause it's just like, how far are y'all willing to go? for ratings, for viewerships. And this is for production. This is for the cast members. This is for Carlos. This is for the own network. You know what I'm saying? This is for all of these reality shows and the productions and producers and owners of networks. It's like, how far are y'all willing to go Y'all know a lot of these people that y'all put on these shows are not 100% mentally stable, that they have a lot that they're dealing with. And by people, I'm meaning Sonia Morgan. We've all laughed at her, but it's clear she has a drinking problem. It's clear that she's not all the way there with the way that she acts and the decisions that she's made throughout the years. After years and years of watching Dorinda Medley drink herself to an angry tirade, Bravo finally put her on pause. But it's like, why did it take for you to milk all that you could out of her before you finally tried to intervene? People like Teresa and the criminal activities that she's rewarded for. People like Evelyn who have fought people, bullied people in the past. Hell, even when Tammy was out here bullying people. So many of these reality stars that have gone too far or have mental health issues. People like Raquel, Rachel from um, Vanderpump Rules. Like we all knew that that girl was a little short in the brain. You know what I'm saying? Tom Sandoval, him being a pathological liar and sociopath. People like Jax Taylor. People like this do not deserve to be on television and be rewarded for bad behavior, mental instabilities, or whatever the case may be. Like this has to stop. And I do believe that her no longer being on this show put her in a depressive state. If you go back to the scene where she was let go, the look on her face was of utter devastation, you know? And I think there was a lot of hurt and pain there. Not to say that it was wrong for her to be let go, but it's like y'all put her on the show, let her do her thing and then snatched it away from her. And she was already in a fragile state as it was. And, um, it's, it's just, it's just, it's just sad. It's just really sad. I hate that the f uncle and the whatever other family members are putting all of this on Tisha and Wanda. I think that it's more than just Tisha and Wanda. It's Kiki. It's Tisha and Wanda. It's the viewers. It's production. It's all of us. All of us are to blame. You know what I'm saying? Um, even myself, because I've made fun and said things about Kiki in the past or whatever. You know, and everybody can't take jokes. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't take, you know, um being teased or Joan on, you know what I'm saying? And I have to be more cognizant of that myself. 
you know, that these are people at the end of the day with feelings. And yeah, just because you sign up for a reality show doesn't mean that it's just free game on people. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I just feel bad. I just feel bad. I feel bad for her children more so than anything that their mom is gone. Somebody's mama is gone. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's mama is gone. Them kids ain't gonna ever get to see their mama no more. This is what needs to be the focus. Not all of this family feuding and strife. I hate that Tisha is not able to come to the funeral. I don't think that that's fair. Um, I understand Wanda, you know what I'm saying? With the things that have been said and, you know, all of that stuff. <sighs> But I think that they deserve a moment of being able to grieve her properly. Um, And I just hope that this puts everything in perspective to everybody. You know, I don't think that it's fair that Melody is not able to come. You know, that they're asking for Kimmy and Maurice not to come. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that that's fair. That they're basically saying Stormy. They're telling that that uncle was basically saying anybody related to that show is not welcome to her funeral. And I don't think that that's fair. I really honestly don't. I don't think that Kiki would have wanted that. You know, I wonder um, after being let go of the show, who did she have contact with was it just stormy had everybody stopped talking to her you know what i'm saying i know her and mail had fell out in the end you know i just know after this i won't be reporting on this anymore because i don't feel comfortable making money off of somebody's unaliving i think that it's distasteful and you know, it's just a, a line that should not be crossed in certain things. And this is one of them. Like I said, um, Kiki was nothing but nice to me in the little bit of interaction that we did have. She was very pleasant. She was very sweet, mannerable. We had a great conversation. She was a, va- a great, very great conversationalist, very smart, very intelligent, beautiful woman and she will be missed she will be missed and everybody knows her name she has made every news outlet with her passing unfortunately that it took for her to reach the heights of fame with passing you know and I just hate that if she did intentionally leave this earth I hate that she felt that she had to do that. I hate that she was in whatever pain and anguish that she felt like she couldn't take it anymore. But more so than anything, I pray that God has forgiven her if that is the case and that he has welcomed her into heaven with open arms and that she's finally at peace with herself And of course, she's not hurting anymore. Her addiction is gone and all of those things. As I'm filming this uh, video, I went to Carlos's Instagram to see if he had put out any condolences to Kiki. And after several days, he finally put on his Insta story, grief is difficult and personal. It took me a few days to process this unfortunate loss. My heart is heavy. What a sweet and beautiful soul. God has you now. Rest my love. Sending big prayers and condolences to the entire family. Um, I think that she deserved more than an Instagram story post. Um, I find it mighty funny also that uh, it took him a few days to put that up, but he sure made sure that uh, his interview with Claudia Jordan was promoted. Uh, this is why this is this is going back to everything that I was just saying. Like, <laughs> yo, the entertainment world is crazy. It's crazy, and people can be very tacky and tasteless at times. I think that she deserved um, 
at least a post on this main page. <laughs> I mean, damn, can she get a YouTube video, something, you know, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, I don't know if Melody has put out any condolences. If she hasn't, that's equally as effed up as well. You know, I, I just, ugh, ugh. I'm done y'all. Um, yeah, I love you and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.